Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to configure Jetty server instead of Tomcat. Let's see how do we do that. Let's open our Git page. Click on the repositories. Let's clone Spring Boot Caption application. Application cloned successfully. Let's import this application in Spring Source. Application imported successfully. Let's run this application. Server started. As you can see Tomcat started on port 8080. Tomcat initialized with port 8080. Let's open in browser. See it's working. Let's see how to change the server from Tomcat to Jetty. Let's open Palm XML file. As you can see we have not added any dependency for Tomcat, that means that by default Tomcat server configured, and Tomcat dependency is a part of Spring Boot Starter Web. Let's first add a Jetty dependency. Instead of web change it to the jetty. So this is the dependency which is required to run the server as jetty. But one important thing as I said Tomcat is configured by default and its dependency is a part of Spring Boot Starter Web so need to exclude that from web. Let's see how to do that. That's it. See it's very simple. Let's run the application and see now which server it will use. You can see some Jetty related log. See Jetty started on port 8080. Let's refresh the page and make sure application also working fine or not. See it's working fine. Just had one record. See it's working. I hope you understood how to configure if you want to run your application on Jetty instead of Tomcat. Let's see one by one what is Tomcat and what is Jetty. Tomcat. It's an Apache project. It's an open source and very flexible and extendable. Very well documented with a strong developer community. Easy integration with other Java web application frameworks such as Spring Framework. Servlet container to embed in your Java web application then Tomcat is a best option. Jetty. It's an Eclipse project. It's open source with good community backing and support. Pluggable and extensive resulting in a high degree of customizability. Built into several frameworks such as GWT, Druby, Grails. Scala slash lift, etc. It can be embedded with ease in your Java web application, small devices, line phones, and setup boxes, as well as serve as an asynchronous server. It's small and efficient with low maintenance and total cost of ownership. Like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.